we want to solve the differential equation dy dx equals sine 5x for y of 0 equals 2. To solve a differential equation in the form of dy dx or y prime of x equals f of x with initial condition y of a equals b, number one, we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x to determine the general solution, and then number two, we use the initial condition or y of a equals b to determine the particular solution. Let's begin by replacing dy dx with y prime of x and write the differential equation as y prime of x equals sine phi of x. And now we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the left, the indefinite integral of y prime of x with respect to x is equal to y of x plus some constant but we'll include the constant on the right and just write y of x on the left. On the right, to integrate we need to perform u substitution where u is equal to 5x, differential u is equal to 5dx. Solving for dx, we have 1 -fifth du equals dx. Writing the integral of sine 5x dx in terms of u, we have the integral of sine u and dx is equal to one-fifth du. Let's factor out the one-fifth, and we have du. One-fifth times the indefinite integral of sine u du is equal to negative one-fifth cosine u plus c, which means the original indefinite integral is equal to negative one-fifth cosine five x plus some constant, and we'll call the constant plus c. Again, this constant plus c includes the constant on the left and on the right combined on the right. This is called the general solution. And now we determine the particular solution by determining the value of c using the initial condition y of zero equals two. y of zero equals two indicates when x is equal to zero, the function value is equal to two, which gives us the equation two equals negative one fifth times the cosine of five times zero plus c. And cosine of zero is equal to one, giving us the equation two equals negative one-fifth plus c. Adding one-fifth to both sides, we have c equals two plus one-fifth. And therefore, c is equal to eleven-fifths. Now that we know c is equal to eleven-fifths, we know the particular solution. The particular solution is y of x equals negative one-fifth cosine five x plus 11 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.